Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nanji. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the incredible show, The Incredible Hulk. If you're a fan of The Incredible Hulk, Bill Bixby, Lou Ferrigno, and the show, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a playlist for more videos on The Hulk, as well as other classic TV shows and movies. So make sure to check them out. Like and subscribing are a great way to support the channel. So if you're a fan of the show and have watched it, I mean, isn't this something good to ponder about how there were two men who worked together to make one character? Kind of the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We have Bill Bixby playing Bruce Banner or David Banner, in this case David, and him metamorphosizing, turning into the Hulk and that was played by another man, Lou Ferrigno. Now, if you're a fan of my channel, you will know that I covered the monsters where Fred Gwynn plays, of course, the Frankenstein monster, but the version known as Herman Munster. Now, the makeup and the costume that he wore on him was very difficult, very tough, very heavy. And it said that every time he wore it, he sweat gallons and gallons of fluid. And that is really crazy. Now, was this really difficult or was this challenging at all for Lou Ferrigno? Well, we can see from his own mouth if it was challenging or not. A typical day for him as the Incredible Hulk was a very long one. Why? Well, he would arrive on the set at Universal Studios at about 4 a.m. in the morning. Then he would go straight to makeup. Why? Well, makeup took about two hours to get all the prosthetics, the green coloring, and everything perfect. It took him about two hours. Now, they would be ready to shoot at about 8 or 9 a.m. because, of course, they had to get the camera and the lights ready and everything. And he worked between 12 and 14 hour long days. Now, that is long. Having makeup on, remember, he had the makeup and prosthetics with the spirit gum and everything on for this entire 12 to 14 hours because they would have to reshoot scenes and move scenery and he would have to wait. It would take him two hours or more to get it off. So it was just easier to keep it all on. Now, according to him, the makeup was very itchy and it was really difficult not to scratch it because if he would scratch it, he would ruin the makeup and then they would have to take more time to add more makeup on. And it was like a nonstop process. So he just had to ignore the itching. Now, the makeup itself will start to peel and they would put on even more makeup when that would happen. And so, as I mentioned, it's this ongoing cycle. Now, in fact, Lou Ferrigno admits this bodybuilding tough guy who lifted with Arnold Schwarzenegger, he said that he had nightmares of being in makeup. No, actually, he really did. The craziness of the makeup and the prosthetic appliances is that it did actually help him get into character. The fact that it changed his face and it made him look so different was an addition and a kind of an inspiration for him and it made acting a lot easier. Now I, I show you some images here uh, which are pretty cool. They're from behind the scenes, how he wore this specific rubber nose. He wore special eyebrows and a really large forehead. And then later they would add a wig and they had eyes. So he had contacts that would put in and even fake teeth. And according to him, he was the Hulk when he looked himself in the mirror. So that is pretty cool because looking at him with the makeup, wig, green paint, and as soon as eyes and teeth went in, it was just a perfect fit for him and he thought that it was a great addition to the character but but it was truly a nightmare to be in all that makeup now i know a lot of you wonder whether he got seriously hurt because he after all did a lot of the physical stunts he essentially was a stuntman and played the whole character perfectly i mean he never really hurt himself he did get small minor injuries he would get bruising in his shoulders, scratches here and there from all the running and jumping, but he never broke anything. He had a stunt coordinator himself, and oftentimes anything that was very, very dangerous, he would have a man named Manny Perry, who was dressed up exactly like him, who would do the extreme stunts where he could get hurt. And of course, Lou Ferrigno didn't want to get hurt, but he liked doing a lot of the stunts himself if he could do them. 
So I hope this short video gave you a bit of an insight into how challenging it was to play the Hulk, but how with the special effects and the great and talented and clever editing, it made it seem like it was one man and it was so well done. But I mean, imagine having all this grease and all this paint on you. I mean, I think it would have been insane, but hats off to Lou for doing a great job. Thanks for your support as always. Thank you for your liking, commenting, and subscribing. It really does make a difference. I'll see you all next time, and don't forget everyone, be hopeful. Thank you to all my supporters, especially my diamond tier patrons, Christopher K, John O, David D, Sally N, Jerry D, Vito L, Citizen Kane, Jennifer P, and Kevin K. If you wanna be on this list, make sure to check out the link in the description. It's all of you patron members who make my channel possible. Thanks.